Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another update video with the SS Motion. So today we have some awesome new images of the great new combat units that are coming out this fall and they look awesome. Now I'll try and leave a description below with the actual pictures so you can go and look at them yourselves. Again I apologise for my voice, it's, a bit, it's going a bit, I don't own any of the images but they just look so cool and I thought I'd share them with you guys. So, here we have the back of the packaging for this Brute Combat Unit, or Brute Pack, and it just looks awesome. And the figures look great, and the main importance is this, the new sets. We see both of the only vehicles with the new Storm Jackal and Active Camo Grunt, and we see the Gauss Hog. Now, they look great, and I'm glad these are actually confirmed sets now, but they look badass, and I'm really looking forward to them. So here we actually have the combat unit themselves, gone with the same design for the actual stand as the orange and the cobalt new combat units. And we have a great amount of figures which I'll go into a bit of detail in. They just look awesome. So first of all we have the security Spartan. Now a bit of a dodgy paint uh, job on the bubble helmet, but I'm sure that'll improve. Now obviously this, we didn't think that we were going to get a security because Bungie owned it from a previous game, the armour. But I'm glad to see it here. And it looks awesome. It's got a peg hole on the back of the torso. And it just looks great. And it's in a nice green colour. And here is the main importance. The new Halo Reach grenade launcher. Not coloured, but looks an awesome mould and a great design. Here we have the commanding officer. It's the same head as the countdown and the same body. We've seen that colour scheme for a marine a lot of times. So not as excited about that, but still a great figure. And we have the brute chieftain, which is great. You can get a lot of boot chieftains with this. Bit of a weak paint job, set, similar to the chieftain charge, but they might improve it. And it's got a nice gravity ammo and looks pretty cool. And the most importantly, a brute stalker in active camo. Oh, that just looks awesome, guys. It looks amazing. And the helmet is obviously new and it just looks phenomenal. And there's the back of it. The, uh, the actual design and the mold looks really great. And here we have the other combat unit, the ODST battle unit. I am the mo my favourite figure is the ODST, so you can imagine I'm very excited about this one. And look at it, this is the best out of the two by far, and there's a lot of reasons why. Here's the back of the packaging, and we can see the different figures, not in much uh, close detail, but we can see them a bit, and we can obviously see it's the same new vehicles at the bottom with the other unit as well. And here is the gold hunter from Halo 3 ODST. That looks incredible. Now, a gold hunter we never saw, thought we'd see. We've only had blue and purple in the past, and it's great. It's taking the new, the uh, old blue one from EVA's last stand, that mold, and it just looks great. The translucent green pieces on its plasma cannon. And here we have a grunt. Now this is very unamusing and is the same one from series 6 I believe, so I'm not very interested about that one, but we have a white ODST, like Avery himself, and it looks like it's got a great blue coloured, aqua coloured visor, and it has a plain Spartan laser, same uh, colour scheme as the Warthog Resistance, but very excited about that, but look at this thing guys, this takes the cake, this is an ODST Active camo. I have been wishing for one of these since the very beginning of Mega, and this is my this is going to be my favourite figure they've ever done. And it has an ODST Magnum in active camo. So that just sums up the combat units and makes them awesome. So I'm glad you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, obvious this little video I've done. And uh, it's the second part. If you want to check the first part, check the link in the description below. If you want to join our army on our UK group, check the link in the description below if you're from the UK. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time.